The language of the body 10 must know tell tale signs that she wants your body. In the beginning was a caveman, and all this caveman ever knew about finding and dating hot women was through plunder and pillage what has changed, honestly. Regardless of the non-verbal communication signals the female was sending his way, this caveman never could get it and, to this day, those traits have been passed down from generation to generation, with only a select few, lucky guys being able to read through all the clutter of male confusion and testosterone to realize that the hot lady in the little red number sitting across from him, is talking volumes to him through her her body language. But, what is a man, with any shred of masculinity still left in him, to do under these circumstances if he's to go home with his arms full of, you get the picture. There is no doubt that men find women very complicated, judging from all the self-help dating guides circulating on the internet, we could very well be living on opposite ends of the galaxy, meeting occasionally through cyberspace to share our sad tales of loss and dejection. In a civilized and very litigious society that is the first world, one is highly advised to learn these signals, lest you find yourself in one database that forces you to peg a sign, as big as those for sale house signs, signaling to the whole community that you're a sex miscreant or something to that effect, that is one database you don't want your name in. I digress. When a woman wants a man, no wild horses can drive her away, save for the slurred speech of jackass numero uno falling off the rocker in the bar whilst making lewd advances at her. In no particular order, here are the traits women have whispered to me in a truth or dare discussion. Her dress code. Since birth, men have always been fascinated by breasts, whether by intent, genetics or design. We have a morbid fascination of breasts, and women know this and use it to their utmost advantage. A woman on the prowl will make sure her cleavage is flashing red signals and, when she senses some interest, she'll do her utmost best to accentuate her femininity and sexuality in order to reel you in to see that bust. The rest depends upon you on how well you navigate those slopes. Speaking to a woman while gawking at her cleavage is definitely not one of them. Yep. She's aware you know they're there, but just don't make it blatantly obvious when in a conversation with her that you have intentions with them, pretend they're not there, even if it means wearing blinkers under your eyes, and chances are you're one-tenth up the ladder run to her heart. What fascinating creatures. Eye contact. In sales, we are taught that the first seven seconds are highly crucial in creating hot buying signals in a subject, seven seconds. Wow. In terms of using your body language in seduction, this number is way lower and depends upon your game. When you first set your sight on a female and she also has you in hers, what you do in those flitting few seconds might very well be your life sentence. Nothing speaks louder than first impressions so, whatever you're calling in life, aim to create mind-numbing and unforgettable first impressions with whoever you meet. This does not mean one should act like a clown or flap their hands about in a mating ritual to garner votes. All it means is that aim to be unique and fresh, aim to trigger, buying, signals in females of all shapes and sizes, and smile like you've just seen an old flame you lost your virginity to or as if you've just won a million bucks. This will pique her interest and make the encounter less uncomfortable and forgettable. You've broken the approach barrier, now's not the time to squawk, speak with the confidence of a natural-born leader and offer a strong, firm but reassuring handshake. Even if she wasn't expecting that, she'll be caught so off guard she'll have no choice but to reciprocate the gesture with a friendly, if not huge grin too. 
Dress for success in a style that defines you without looking uncomfortable. Learn the essential basics of male grooming and wear a cologne that's not overpowering, and definitely not your local drugstore brand. Chances are she'll melt right there, giving you the opportunity to sweep her off her feet and place her delicate supple body on the park bench where you can embrace her whilst bringing her back to life. Sitting cross-legged. The age-old signal that, if she's sitting cross-legged across from you and has her knees facing you, signals intent at some subconscious level. Women love sitting cross-legged, but it's in the details that one can discern the tell-tale signs that she's flirting with you, such as she biting on her pen or pencil whilst throwing the occasional glance your way hands ruffling and tossing her hair this way and that, biting her lower lip and subconsciously smiling your way. Need I say more here? Touching. Women are expressive and use their emotions on a sleeve. If she continuously touches your hands, shoulder etc. as if about to make a point, or leans briefly on you as she laughs, chances as she wants you to come closer, should take the bait and play along. Giggles. This is the part guys don't get, even the prettiest woman on planet Earth has flaws, and is self-conscious of some of them. Women spend countless hours pruning themselves to look presentable to us so, the next time you meet someone who constantly giggles whilst you're talking to her, either she's giggling due to the awkward nature of the situation, which you should be able to tell I'm sure, or she's giggling because she's attracted to you and is nervous and excited at the same time and has lost faculty of all her senses, meaning now's the time to pounce, really. That alluring neck. Love them, hate them. The blondes seem to have a knack for playing with their hair whilst exposing their neckline. When a female exposes her neck to you in a provocative manner, whether a stranger or someone familiar, the message is clear, she's submitting to you and her mind is taking a stroll with you on a wild coastal beach whilst sipping pina colades. I digress, again. Back glance. As much as one would like to learn all the non-verbal communication signs that show she wants you, a female who takes the chance to glance over her shoulder upon passing you by, unless you have bad odor or something to that effect, is in no subtle way hinting that she likes what she saw and, as if the first was not enough, you deserve a second, you nonchalant thing you. There's a strong possibility here that, if you turn around and head her way, you might just end up looking into each other's eyes for some time to come. Now, instead of reading this article and nodding your head in a pro or silent acknowledgement, how about putting your thinking cap on and now start paying attention to how loud the female bods are talking to you.